In this video, I'll walk you through unbricking your Nintendo Switch using NAND Fix Pro 2.0.0 with the Level 2 method. Let's dive in. I've updated Nanfix Pro to version 2.0.0. If you want to run level 1, just follow the same steps I'm showing you here for level 2. They're pretty much identical. First, dump your console keys, back up the NAN, then let Nanfix Pro handle the file transfers. Make sure to read each pop-up as they appear. This version adds more automation and significantly reduces the error rate. The level 2 method is used when one or more partitions of the eMMC chip inside your console are damaged, but the ProDinfo is still intact. We use level 2 to regenerate those partitions and clean them up. In this example, we tried to launch the CSMMC and got a black screen afterward. Keep in mind, a black screen doesn't automatically mean you need level 2, but it is a valid indicator. To get back to Hecate, press and hold the power button for 12 seconds. Once we're back in Hecate, let's check the eMMC partitions and see if they're still there or if they've been lost. In this scenario, the eMMC partitions are still there, so the next step is to back up the NAND and dump the console keys. Dumping the console NAND is mandatory even if your console is bricked. Creating this backup can prevent you from ending up in a worst-case scenario. Still in Hecate, click Tools, then Backup eMMC, and select eMMC Boot 0 and Boot 1. Now close the page and click eMMC Raw GPP. Backing up the eMMC Raw GPP takes a while to finish, so sit back and relax. After backing up the NAND, we'll now dump the console keys. Close the page twice to get back to the home page, click Payloads, then click Lockpick RCM. Flip the tablet and press the power button to dump the keys from SysNAND. Press any key to return to the main menu, then select Reboot to Hecate. To confirm we need to run the level 2 method, let's launch the Tegra Explorer payload. Wait a moment, then use the D-pad to select Browse eMMC. Move the cursor to the system partition and click it. If an error pops up, it means the system partition is corrupted. Now check the user partition. If the same error appears, that partition is damaged too. In this case, we can confirm we need to use the level 2 method to fix this console. You can check the other partitions if you'd like, but we now have valid symptoms to head back to Hecate and use NAND Fix Pro to fix this up. Now we'll download the latest NAND Fix Pro from the GitHub page. Open the link in the description, click Releases, and download the latest version. As of making this video, that's version 2.0.0. Next, download the target firmware files from the link in the description. As of making this video, the latest is 20.5.0. First, right-click the firmware zip file and extract it to your preferred location. I'll be using the desktop. Next, double-click the Nanfix Pro self-extracting archive and extract those files to the same spot. Go into the Nanfix Pro folder and double-click the Nanfix Pro XE file. The Nanfix Pro launcher will automatically install all the necessary components for the program to run. Next, we'll mount the SD card using Hecate's USB tools. Click Tools, then select USB Tools. Plug in your USB-C cable and finally click SD Card. With the SD Card mounted, return to Nanfix Pro. 
Click the Level 2 tab, then select the Firmware folder. Click Get Keys from SD. Once the pop-up confirms the keys have been successfully retrieved from the console, eject the mounted SD card immediately. Return to Hecate, then press Close. Now disable the read-only option and click EMMC RAW GPP. Go back to Nonfix Pro and click Start Level 2 Process. It will automatically detect your physical drive and clicking Yes will start the process automatically. The main Level 2 process will take approximately 7.5 minutes, so just sit back and relax. Once the main level 2 process is complete, a pop-up will appear informing you to physically disconnect the USB cable, then reconnect and mount the SD card so you can copy the boot files. Simply press OK to close that window. In this step, you need to disconnect the USB cable, press close, reconnect it, and then click SD card to mount it again. Switch back to NAND Fix Pro and click Copy Boot to SD. This will automatically place the necessary boot files onto your mounted SD card. Return to Hecate, then press Close. Disconnect the USB cable and close the current page. Now click Restore EMMC and finally click EMMC Boot 0 and Boot 1. Press the power button to proceed and ignore the warnings. Now close the page twice to get back to the main menu and then try to launch the Sys MMC CFW. There you go, you have successfully revived the console. Go ahead and continue setting up your console and in the next section, I'll show you the level 2 advanced option for a specific use case. In this section, I'll show you how to utilize the Level 2 Advanced option. Suppose you try to launch the Sys MMC CFW and encounter a specific error code. If you then open Tegra Explorer and find that only the user partition is corrupted and not the others, the Level 2 Advanced option is the solution. In short, the Level 2 Advanced option is used only when the user partition is corrupted. Although firmware files aren't required for the Level 2 Advanced option, you still need to select a firmware folder because the UI is locked until one is chosen. Then, as usual, click Get Keys from SD to retrieve the prod keys from the mounted SD card. 
Then, you need to eject the mounted SD card and mount the EMMC RAW GPP. You've already performed this step earlier in the video. After mounting it, click Advanced Fix User Only. It will detect the mounted physical drive and then click Yes to proceed. The user partition repair won't take long to finish. It will only take about 40 seconds. After you see the successful notification, you can then test the console. As usual, press close, disconnect the USB cable, and then try to launch the Sys MMC CFW. There you go, you have now learned how to fix your console using both the standard level 2 method and the advanced method. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.